Hello once again everybody and welcome back to Cakes and Cookies in Cooking Simulator. So we uh, sold, we spent all day and sold a chocolate fudge cake last time. And today we're going to be doing the strawberry cake. Oh, it looks great. So first a little disclaimer. Um, there's an awful lot of noise going on outside at the moment there's people banging in back gardens and people downstairs sneezing yeah. like right then um sneezing and got tvs on and banging around and it's you may be able to hear it you may not um just saying so anyway um let's ignore that and just get going because um i have tried the um i have tried out the recipe already so you'll notice that the kitchen might look a bit different all my pans are in a pile over here for instance um i have a scoop that's half full of these pink pearls which we will be using and um there's i've got a sponge here because i made it a lot of mess um i've still got eggshells on the floor for instance and a load of eggshells over here I really should clean up between days, but they don't give you any time. They don't give you any time to do it. Also, I have been through my settings. All of my settings are on minimum apart from anti-aliasing. I have one level of anti-aliasing on at the moment. So yes, we're going to be making the strawberry cake today. Um, as you can see, I have already unlocked it because I've been through and um, tried. That's not entirely what I wanted to do. So another thing I noticed, um, you can hold down tab and the phone goes away completely, which is great. I didn't know you could do that, but apparently you can. Now I'm wondering, oh, I put them over here. I, I was gonna say, I was wondering where I put my mixing bowls and they're all the way over here. A bit of lag there as the, uh, as the fridges come into view. I really need to clean this up. I really do. Let's get some of these away. Can I just pick them up and... Yeah, if I can pick them up and put them in here and then just dump them straight in the bin. I'll just get the ones on the, the, uh, the worktop. So I was going to say desktop and worktop all at once and it kind of merged into dirk top so i have absolutely no idea why okay so last time i tried it i made four um i did a, a batch of four in one go and yeah it it was it was a bit too much for the uh a bit too much for the bowls to handle when we got towards the end of the recipe. So I'm only going to double up. So yes, um, I'm only going to double up. So I need 500 grams of cake flour. So thankfully, yes, I have actually um, done something with these settings. So it does play better this time. Um, there is indeed still lag as you turn around to the <laughs> to the fridge at least I'm sure it's the fridge I'm sure it's the fridge now I only need 50 grams now there we go see it's much better much better using the uh, this oh yes um, so we've got the salt and baking powder here already so yes, we need 10 grams of salt. There we go. Okay, that uh, fell over on me, but it um, doesn't really matter so much. Here we go. Uh, 20 of baking powder. Lovely. So we need that on the hook attachment. Got the whisk one on there because we needed that earlier. So 
there's the hook. And while we're here, we'll put the paddle on this one because we use the paddle quite a lot and the hook, but not necessarily the whisk. So we'll mix that up. Now, come on, scroll properly, there we go. It says transfer into a pot. You don't need to do that. <laughs> you really do not need to transfer it into a pot because we have another empty kneading bowl. Oh look, I've got a load of dough here from last time. Look at that, four kilos of it. So just dump that. We'll be making fresh. It was a couple of days since uh, I made that dough. So that, that dough will be all crap by now. There we go, so 350 grams of vanilla sugar. So we need to double that. We've got vanilla sugar in this one. One hundred and fifty. Now, see, the advantage of doubling up the recipe is that um, it makes it easier to cut up the butter because the butter is in two hundred gram blocks. So, trying to get one hundred and fifty grams out of two hundred grams, you got to cut it in half twice. And when I uh, when I quadrupled the recipe uh, for the last time, it um, <clears throat> it was very easy. I didn't have to cut up any butter at all. It's just another another one hundred grams. There we go. That's all the vanilla sugar. And then we get 300 grams of butter. And that's baker's yeast. Done that on the floor. Because it's yellow. It's yellow. I associate butter with yellow. Oh, look at this. I'm going to have to buy more now. Um... How much was this? Yes, this was 200 grams, wasn't it? There we go. So that's 200 grams of butter in there. I need to buy a bit more. So, come on. Get over. Oh, right, here we go. It took a little while to load up the app. We'll buy four blocks. That'd be enough. There we go. So we've got 200 in there. We need 300. So we need to cut this in half as accurately as possible turn that around like that uh, back a bit back a bit Get forward there that'll do so put the knife back 101 grams oh well that'll have to be close enough that will have to be close enough. Right, so we need this on the hook attachment, which is what we used over here. So we'll just swap these bowls around. Up, grab, there, go. Right, so now I need 300 grams of egg. So that's actually 600 grams. I'm still not entirely sure if, um, see, that's why there's so many eggshells. <laughs> I'm still not entirely sure um, exactly how much an egg weighs. So I haven't looked it up. So um, an egg in this game is 100 grams. So hang on, how many did I need? Uh, 300, so that's six. I need six eggs. Six eggs. You need each one of these individually. Now, originally, I was cracking them here by pressing E and then putting them in. That's not right. You've got to click the left mouse button to actually separate them. 
and that's why we had the egg on the counter. <sighs> all this egg, all this stuff everywhere. I, I need a day of tidying up, basically. Okay, so that is now three eggs in there. There we go. This is going to be the best looking cake you have ever seen. <laughs> oh, I just wish I could get proper screenshots of them. I wish I could crouch. Right, there we go. So that's... Uh, so I need to separate the bits. Look at all that egg, egg white in there. There must be something I can do with that egg white. So, add to the same kneading machine bowl. Which kneading machine bowl do you think? Well, it did say to put the flour mixture in a pot. So it must be this one here that it's referring to, not that mixture. It has to be this one. So we shall just tip the six egg yolks in there. I may have missed some bit. I need to go up, really. Well, that's what reset position means. It doesn't mean put it back up like that. Anyway, um, so that is that done. We can dump that back over here. Have we got all the egg yolks? 240 grams. Well, that seems about right, doesn't it? Okay, so we need 20 ml of the vanilla extract, which is here. Now, I, re I really wish it would work like the salt and other stuff. Because it pours very quickly. Oh, uh, so, okay, so there's a little bit too much of that, but that's not a problem. So we need this on the paddle attachment, which is over here. Got it on this mixer. So where's that? Because we need 200 grams of strawberries. I know from experience that strawberries are 10 grams. So if we go over here, click that. So we need 20 strawberries. We'll need more later, but we'll get 20 now because it means that we'll be able to we'll be able to keep track of how many we're doing. So there we go. So thankfully we can just use this automatic cutter device. <sighs> I really wish you could just grab more than one at a time. Because it's the animation that takes the time. There we go. So we've got all 20 now. And dump them in the automatic topping device. And boop. There we go. So. Oh. Scroll back up. So add to the same kneading bowl. So we're referring to that over there. So we need the flour mixture in that as well. So it's all going back into the one bowl. So we'll take it off so we've got a bit of room for pouring. Grab the strawberries in there. Uh, that's lined up well enough. What kind of noise is that? What kind of noise is that? <laughs> oh dearie me. Right, um yes we need the flour mixture. And in there. So uh well oh, that right, that's where it's gonna pour. Okay. Now what I found when I did this last time with the quadruple recipe the whole thing just overflowed when I came to um, when I actually came to make the thing. That's why there's a little bit of stuff on the floor there. It's 
I, I can't actually get that with the mop. I can't actually get that with the mop. So we need this on the paddle attachment. So yeah, that little bit of uh, mess is just going to have to stay there. So that all mixes up. It's, it seems to scroll an awful long way with just one click of the, the thing. Anyway, so we are now on to the cake filling. So we need 200 mils of water in a pot. Where did I leave a pot? Um, oh, yeah, I, I left them over here. I had two pots because there was such a lot of stuff. Now, last time I filled it from over there, but I could never get the quantity right. So I'm going to use this. Hopefully there's, yes, there's a litre in there. That's good. So hopefully this is going to fill up a bit slower and more controllable. Oh yes, that's lovely. <sighs> Although that noise isn't good if you need the toilet. So we need 400 mils of water. Just remember we are doubling things. No, it was this cake filling. It was this cake filling I'm making that when you put it in the bowl and whizzed it up, it just overflowed and went everywhere. It created so much mess. So we're almost there. Oh, 399. A little bit more. A little bit more water. A little bit more water, please. Oh, a bit too much, but there we are. <sighs> so we need 30 ml of lemon juice. Now that is over. I really hate that sort of clunking noise when you're why is why am I not turning round I'm not turning around why is that okay excuse me one moment okay and there we go I think the batteries in my mouse were dying so let's see how this works ah yes that's better I mean still lag but better Ah, right, so I'll grab that and I'll put that here and get the lemon juice. So we need 30 ml of lemon juice. And, eh, close enough. <laughs> close enough. 800 grams of granulated sugar. Now this is where, this is the point where I realise that, hang on, quadrupling the recipe will not work. We, and that's why we have two pots that's why we have two big pots um, so granulated sugar is this one so 800 grams imagine putting 1.6 kilos of sugar in that I mean in real life yes that's that will work but the volume in this does seem to be rather high. Plus, once it reached um, a kilo, it then didn't become very accurate. See, it's telling me I've got 300. See, it's telling me I've got 300 grams of sugar in there. Well, that's great, but once it reaches a kilo, it then only does in 100 gram increments so I didn't really know whether I had 1.1 kilos or 1.15 kilos so it did make it a little bit tricky to uh, measure out right 600 grams so we just need 200 now and then salt, and then more strawberries. Okay, we just need another 50 grams. See, I'm, I'm trying to overcompensate for the lag now, and it's not really working so well. See, I keep missing. I'm trying to compensate for it, but it's 
not really working. Right, so we need salt. 30 grams. At least you can hold it down. <laughs> and one more, there we go. So we now need 30 grams of strawberries. Now, where did I leave that thing? Oh, I left it over here, didn't I? My little tray. So unfortunately, yes, we need to buy some more strawberries. We need uh, 30. So over here, scrolly down, strawberry. I also wish you could hold it down. Can you shift click to add 10? No, we can't. I'm used to another game where if you shift click, you add 10 at once instead of just one, which does make things easier. Come on. I need all these strawberries in this pan. I need all of them, that's why I bought them. <sighs> right, there we go. No, go away, Cook Bay. Go away, that's it. Right, so. Um, we don't necessarily need to chop these, but I'm going to anyway. Oh, what's going on? So much lagging. I do need a new computer. I really do. The one I'm using right now is eight years old. Yes. Yes, I bought this one eight years ago. So I'm really due for a new one. But I've got no money right now. So I, I just can't justify it. Now, yeah, this is where the pouring of these gets a little bit tricky because the width of the pan and the width of this thing are the same. Are they all out? No? Is that it now? I hope so. <laughs> oh no! I did drop some on the floor! Ah. Oh. Well, let's pick them up. It's okay, they're going to be boiled. And I did just clean the floor before we started. I ran the mop around it. It's fine. It's fine. It's all clean. Oh, the worst thing to drop on the floor are probably strawberries. They're so small. What? There's another one. Is that it now? Is that all of them? Yes. Right. Good. <sighs> anyway, look. Strawberries are whole. They've been out in nature like that, haven't they? You know, they've been in a field. Birds have been flying over them and everything. They're fine. They're fine. <laughs> oh, dear. Right, here we go. So, you've got to get it right, right in the middle. Because otherwise they do sometimes fall out. They sometimes miss the pan. Which is indeed what I've noticed before. Thankfully nothing there left on the table. So for some reason we now have to boil this. For 30 seconds. I think it's just to soften the fruit. So I'm going to set a timer. In real life, I won't bother in the game. Go. So I'm keeping an eye on the clock, basically. Let's just scroll down, what minute? Transfer into the kneading bowl. Cool. Look at that, 50 ml of water, 15 gram of starch, and then boil that as well. 10 seconds more. It's like, why? Couldn't we do that now? There we go. See, the strawberries are a little bit on the red. 
but that is fine. See, it's when I did this and the starch, right? I did this and the starch all at once. Hang on. This is the filling. Right? I don't know, I scrolled down, that's why I was a bit confused, right? No, 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 add to a pot. Transfer into the kneading machine bowl. Transfer into that one, mix using whisk attachment. Yes, I think you've got to put it into a different, um, a different one. Not this same one. I'm not entirely sure. I, yes, last time I did it separately. So we're going to do that this time. I mean, it all came out fine. It all came out perfectly well. Go on, in we go. There we are. There we go. So that's there. Um, I need to scroll up again. So we need 50, 100 ml of water. Remember, we're doubling the recipe. We are doubling the recipe. So 50 ml of water. <sighs> right. Hundred mil of water. Eighty, ninety. Oh, that well, that's close enough. <laughs> we did go a little bit overboard on the water for the last time, so yeah, that's the starch. So we need thirty grams of starch. It's very convenient that each shake is one gram. It's very convenient indeed. Right, so boil this for 25 seconds. Again, I'm going to keep an eye on the clock. And away we go. So is, is this just to help things mix and dissolve and thicken up? I think so. <sighs> An extra five seconds. Done. I'm not entirely sure what that, that step actually accomplishes, because couldn't we have done that at this point? Okay, that's all that put in. We'll put that on the side there. Now, look at this. Look at this. Right, there is uh, there's quite a lot of space in there. Ah, yes, it's because we whisked it, and that introduces a lot of air, which is why it went everywhere. So hopefully this won't. Hopefully the volume of this will not increase too much. Oh, no, no, it seems fine. <sighs> right, cool. Yeah, you see, this is where, this is where reading the recipe all the way through first really helps. Transfer the strawberry cake dough into an oval cake pan. Doesn't have to be oval. Add strawberry cake filling to the same pan so it's clear that you meant to keep them separate. Now, do we go round cake pan, or do we use the heart? Do we use the heart shape? I definitely think if we've got some dough left over, we can make some cupcakes too. I don't think we'll bother icing them, but uh, we can certainly do this. Right, so we need the normal cake dough. So plop there. This one here, and look at that, it's almost three o'clock already. I did, yes, yes, I did, I did. I'm just thinking, it doesn't look like I put strawberries in that, but yes, you have. So we'll put three clicks in there. We've got plenty of dough left. We've got loads of dough left. 2.3 kilos of it. 
and three of that. Can we get another one in? We can. Another one? Oh, so it's it's um, eight clicks per thingy. Eight clicks per tin. Okay, we'll have to remember that. And that's a 2.1. So we've got lots. We can, we can make quite a lot of cake here. Probably not four tins full. But um, can, will we make three? That is the question. So yes, we need four clicks of each in each. So four in that one. Four in that one. Yeah, still got 1.3 kilos, so I can probably make another two cakes on top of this. No, I needed to take the dough. Well, the filling. It does make you wonder why you can't just mix this up together. But this is apparently what you do. So. The timer will obviously be down. So these are 160. 160. 160. It sounds like there's a party going on outside, doesn't it? <laughs> now the problem, of course, is going to be the fact that we need time to decorate it. Put, put it in. There we go. So yes, these are of course 450 at 160, which is exactly what it was last time. Will you stop lagging so much? And I'm trying to put the cakes in the ovens. There. And an angry driver on his horn. I wonder why that is. So anyway, um it goes up to six minutes, does it? All right, well, it's um, it'd be quicker to do it that way then. <laughs> there we go. Oh, no, next one, there we go. Close up the ovens. And there we go. So we'll take a star, because we have one. Star shape. And we have a heart shape over here. I will tell you one thing. Putting the sprinkles on, those little pink pearls we had last time, putting those on does take a long time. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. We've still got a, low, a big lump of this left. Probably enough for one more cake. Four in that one, four in that one, and that's gone down in size as well. There we go. So these ones, 160 at 430. Uh, come on, let me see the cooking. 410, right. So you get this one, which is indeed 430. See, I wish I could crouch. All right, fine, close you. There we go. So that one should, isn't that where we needed it to be? Come on. 160, this one's 430. There we go. Close that. Oh yes, remember, we we're gonna do the cupcakes, weren't we? If we had any left over. <laughs> ah, right. Um, this one was 410. At least I'm pretty sure it was. If it's not, screw it. That's what it's having. <laughs> the question is, can you do the dual layer thing in these? Probably not. In which case we'll probably... Oh. Look at that. You do them individually. Right, okay. Ooh, hang on, what's this? Pick less, pick more. Is it what? Right, so can we, can we take this out? No, that's picking that up. Okay, put it down. 
pick up the pastry can I just put it back in the pan again <laughs> no I can't I can throw it <laughs> okay now this is I think I'm putting this in the bin <sighs> I can't put it back in the pastry tin oh well never mind this is an experiment this bit is an experiment so we'll half fill that we'll take this fibbing and we'll just pop that in there and hopefully um, this will tell us what we need <laughs> 120 minutes I don't know <laughs> oh that's great It's going to have 160. Um, what was it, 120? I believe it was. Well, we'll do it for 120 and we'll see. We'll use the pastry thermometer on it and we'll actually find out. So, our next experiment is taking that. Can I just dump that in there? Yes, I can. I can. Awesome. Right. Put that in there in there and see what happens right that's combined into a combined dough cool so maybe doing this and putting it in these well uh, that's right on the edge I don't like it there <laughs> maybe doing this will help Oh, you've got to do them individually. Oh, this is why I don't like doing small cakes. Yeah, great big things. Brilliant. That did not use much dough at all. So that's 120 at 160. Look, we'll just have to wait until, uh, until this one is done. Almost almost done we are at four o'clock just about we've got two hours to prepare these cakes come on let's take this out uh, oh, almost got it Ooh, look at that so insert thermometer it's green oh it's very nearly red though what about this other one is that fine no, it's going down a bit it's going down a bit but it's green and I believe that was the one we put less stuff in right ah <sighs> well they seem okay put them down on our table over here we're not going to worry about them in this day I don't think I think what we'll do is we'll leave them till tomorrow when we have a bit of time to actually you know prepare them so these are the ones with the mixed dough and it was 120 again wasn't it 120 pop so these ones are ready now feast your eyes on this look at that look at that color that is amazing oh it looks so good the one problem with this game is it really makes you hungry for cake not just not just hungry for food but hungry for cake look at that red just look at it at least now I can pick up the pastry rather than to faff around with the uh, with the pastry pans. So uh, how do I put this down? Ah, yes, there we go. Uh, let's get these tins out of the way. Put them back over here. Well, lag again. Stop dropping frames. Oh, what I would give for a smooth experience. 
but it is, it's definitely my hardware. No, I don't want to layer them. I want them as individual cakes. Thank you. So, oh look, these ones are done as well. That's lovely. Just look at that. Look at that beautiful colour. You know that that is a strawberry cake. And all that colouring is completely natural. It's from the strawberries. No artificial colours. Well, let, let's, let's close these other ones up, shall we? Let's keep things nice. Come on, let's get round the, the table. That's it. Put that down. Take that out. Dump. Right, lovely. So, um, put that there. And we've got our other little heart shaped cupcakes. Oh, they're not red like the others. You thought they might be, but no, no, they're not. Oh well. That was an experiment worth doing. Yes, it was. So, what I need. So, I really need these around here. To line them up. Because working over here, you get better light. Over there. Grab the heart. Dump that. Dump that. Right, now. We have this beautiful pink frosting. Strawberry whipped cream. Perfect. Perfect. And that's one of your starting selections. So that's perfectly fine. We can certainly get those in. Slap. Stop beeping. Over here, you see, you've got to do. Surely you'd have a bit more on your spatula, right? Surely. I mean, I'll just put that down because I want to move it. Because this is underneath it. There we go. Well, we can use this one now anyway. Um, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Because I, I really need a decent picture for the thumbnail. Because I don't think the uh, the last one was basically um, all I had. So I'll snap that on and we'll get like a little... We'll have a little picture like from here. Just for the uh, thumbnail on YouTube. Anyway, um, so yes, we're going to leave those two uncovered for now. We've got a bit of time, it's fine. So we'll uh, curve this. Now it does take a long time. Because that's that empty, but that was half, only half full uh, last time. So here we go. Pink pearls, fill it up. You need about two. I think it's actually two and a half. I think you need about two and a half. Two and a half of these little shovels full to do a cake. I'm being a little bit... Oh no, I'm, I'm out, you see? <laughs> it's like two and a half to do the outside of it. And then you need a little bit more just to do the middle. Yes, there we go. So we don't actually need that open anymore, so get rid of it. Awesome, right, so here we go. Right, that'll do. Do this one as well, I think. Bop, bop. Now you could line the edge with strawberries or get some like white cream around the edge, perhaps. But I think just um, putting this lovely strawberry cream um, icing stuff on it is fine. Now the only problem with putting the phone away is I don't know what the time is. That's empty now. 
There we go. <laughs> I'm going to have to bring it back up. Um, I will unpin the recipe, though. There we go. So I know I don't have long. See, that's the problem. That's the problem. It, it only gives you a certain amount of time to get this done. I mean, last time, of course, I was sort of fiddling around with, with the game itself. So I'm just going to pop that down here. And I'm going to... The problem is you point at stuff. I think... If I come around here and I line it up like that... Yeah. Okay, I can grab one of those frames and use it as the... Um, thing. So what we'll do is we'll put these out on sale now. So that if things do... Um, if things do go south, then at least we have something for sale. Come and get strawberry cakes. Come and get your strawberry cakes here. I'm not sure if we're going to bother doing... I'm not sure if we're going to have time. Come on. Um, to put more of those little pearls on the rest of these cakes. I think what I need to do for the next video is actually get some different sized um, different sized cake tins so we can actually do a, a proper tiered cake. Not like the just massively tall um, cake we did last time for the, the chocolate fudge cake. Because that, that was just a, a big thing. That was just a big stonker. So there we go. We've got an half an hour we don't really have enough time. What I need to do, though, um, photo mode, uh, uh, photo. Oh, you can go up and down for photos. Ah. You can go up and down for photos. Well, that is interesting. Um, you kind of got a point in the direction you want to move. But you can. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. That is perfect. We'll have that. <laughs> okay. That's cool. So we have a little bit of time left. Not really enough time to do anything, unfortunately. Certainly nothing more fancy than just cover it in this lovely pink glop. <laughs> Put them up for sale. Oh man, it's taken us all day to make these cakes. It really has. <laughs> uh, see, we haven't got much time left. And sell. Boop, there we go. Job done. So yes, the game only gives you an hour to prepare products for sale. You don't have to sell them. You could do a few uh, games in advance, a, a few days in advance and build up some stock. But uh, it's not really much, much point. I mean, look at that. We've uh, we're up to number 49. <laughs> look at that. We get our extra 50 per points for our picture. It's worth doing. It's worth doing, definitely. So we look, look at that profit we made. Look at that profit we made. <laughs> yes. So um, even with dumping all that dough from yesterday, which you know we, we could have reused it. Yes, we could. We could definitely have reused it. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Awesome. That was an awesome day. And those cakes look delicious. They make me so hungry now. <laughs> so anyway, um, we do have three notifications on the phone. One of them is for the shop. I have no idea why. Why is there one for the shop? There shouldn't be one for the shop. If, if I picked up an order, then that ought to have gone. 
I mean, unless they, there's an order waiting for me here, which there isn't. So, um, we have nothing. There's nothing here. I think it's because we did. I think it's because yesterday we had a we had a couple of special orders from yesterday. Anyway, um, so what I'm going to do off camera is I'm going to try and at least clear up all these eggshells uh, before the next episode. So there we go. Um, I hope you enjoyed joining me here for the strawberry cake, which was quite a difficult recipe, actually. There was an awful lot involved in that. It took us a long time. But anyway, we did it. Come and join me again and see what we make next time. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed that video, remember to click the like button and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more. Remember to join us for the next video. Goodbye.